저희는 한국 네오파이트에서 온 한동호입니다. 산타 킥복싱을 주력으로 하여 화끈한 파이팅을 보여드리겠습니다. 오늘 밤 마셜 컴뱃에서 화끈한 저의 시합을 보여드리겠습니다. 파이팅! Welcome everyone to Martial Combat 6. You're looking at Dong Ho Han, one of the competitors in the first of five fights that we've got for you tonight. Steve Dawson here at ringside alongside Mitch Chilson, who you may remember headlined Martial Combat 2 with a devastating one-punch finish. I hope you've recovered from that, Mitch, have you? It was a great fight. Well, thank you, Steve. I'm really excited to be here and uh, I'm looking forward to this. Well, Dong Ho Han from South Korea, he's got a two and five record. His opponent also has a losing record, but it's a bit of a misnomer because these guys have been up against high quality UFC and pride veterans. And when you mix it with those kind of guys, then you've been at the top level. Yeah, I, I definitely think Dong here is, I mean, this guy fights in open weight tournaments in Korea. This guy is an absolute stud. Uh, he comes he comes from one of the top gyms in Korea. So I'm expecting big things out of Dong. Hi, I'm Russ the Bandit Dello from Australia. I'm representing Sea Polista BJJ Australia and I'm fighting out of Tiger Muay Thai and MMA. fighting here in Marshall Combat, Singapore. Yeah, Ross Dallow has a three and six record. He's uh, quite a busy fighter. He's fought four times in the past 12 months, and notably, his uh, last fight finished with a dramatic head kick knockout of a man called Gareth Ely. Always exciting to see finishes like that, Mitch. And if he can produce something like that tonight, then we're in for some spectacular viewing. Yeah, this guy is a really exceptional grappler. He comes out of one of the best gyms. I'm really excited to see this uh, Ross guy fight. He's got a superb ground game, a BJJ brown belt, and a four-time national Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion out of Australia. He's also done a bit of Muay Thai, so he's really been around. He's got a very broad range of talents. Tattooed on his stomach, interestingly, you can see there. It looks in great shape. He's, uh, giving away seven centimeters to his South Korean opponent, Dong Ho Han. This is a match weight at uh, the 84 kilogram mark. Heavily muscled. Just getting a bit of Vaseline around the eyes. And what that does is it helps to prevent cuts when these fingerless gloves provide glancing blows. It just prevents the skin from opening up Let's get ready for combat! Fighting out of the blue corner, considered an extremely fit and all-rounded fighter, he stands at 180 centimeters tall and weighs in at 84 kilograms. With a professional MMA record of two wins and five losses from Seoul, South Korea, and fighting out of Neophyte, it is Dong! The Falcons! Ho Han! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, this man has an MMA record which reflects a fighter who has taken on some of the toughest men in the world. His professional MMA record is three wins and six losses. Standing at a compact 175 centimeters tall, and weighing in at 84 kilograms from Australia and representing Sia Paulista is Ross the Bandit Dello! 
Ross Dallow from Melbourne, Australia against Dong Ho Hun from South Korea. And this is your opening contest of the night. Dong just having to step to one side for the ring card girl to uh, brush by him. I'm sure he's concentrating fully on the task at hand, Mitch, and really not too bothered about the ring card girl. Yeah, you really don't even notice him in there, so I, I can assume this did not affect Dong here at all, but uh, his, his concentration should be fully focused on Ross. Well, if he wasn't before, he will be now, having slapped himself in the face a dozen times and then given his own body some punishment. Let's hope he can uh, deal something like that to his opponent. Referee George Shah going through the preliminaries. Back into their own corners before we get underway for fight one of Martial Combat 6. You ready? Are you ready? Let's do it! We're underway. The action is taking place. The South Korean wearing those army fatigues. Ross Dallow in white and black. And already we've got a busy start with Dallow the aggressor pushing Dong up against the cage. And these are heavy boys exercising a great deal of strength already. Yeah, I do believe Ross wants to get this fight as quickly as he can to the ground. I don't think he wants any of uh, Dong's stand-up. Well, both fighters have quite a good all-round game, so you wouldn't think that either is particularly worried to be standing up or on the ground. But as you say, Dallow seems to be... Well, he does seem to have a sense of urgency, that's for sure. Dong very much on the defensive pinned up against that cage and not a great deal he can do from there by the looks of things. No, he's really got to try to spin Ross off of it, get him off of him and t get his back away from the cage so he can execute something but Ross just has so much pressure applied right now. To oh, now. Ross in a he headlock goes. and down they go. And if Dawn can keep Ross Dallow's head in a lock there he will have something to play with as it were but uh, yes he's still got it there. He's popped out, and Ross right now is inside control. Dong is working back into his full guard. And he's in a much safer position now. Plenty of grappling, no punches being thrown. They're so busy trying to uh, establish the advantageous position, mind you, at the moment, that there's no room for punches just yet. Uh-oh, ah, Ross from behind. Is, Ross is now, he's sunk both hooks in, and now he's looking for a rear naked choke. Ideally, he's trying to work his hands around. Let's see what kind of defense Dong has off his back. Well, both of Dong's arms are free. He's able to fight against that rear naked choke that Mitch was telling us about. It's a potential submission move, or one that actually can relieve the opponent of consciousness. It's quite a frightening thing to see if you haven't seen it before. Has he got it there, Mitch? No, not his, quite. His arm's not quite under the chin yet, so Dong's not in that much trouble. But just to have a caliber grappler like Ross Dallow on, on, your, on your back like that, it's got to be a scary thing. And you can see our cameramen are so close, you can actually hear the breathing. Let me just keep quiet for a moment and just hear the natural sound of these two. Look out the fingers. You can hear the blows oh, that, raining down on the head. That's it, and that's it. it. He secured the choke, it's over. A first round win for the Australian Ross Dallow by way of a rear naked choke. The referee stopped the contest. Exciting way to see this first event of the evening finish. And Dallow's pretty psyched about it. In round number one, and by way of rear naked choke submission, the winner in the red corner, Ross the Bandit Nello! Ross, congratulations. First of all, tell us what's this all about, all this? So, this is uh, me the Kwai. Ah! Hey, you went straight in there at the beginning. It looked like you wanted to get it over quickly. Was that your plan? That's it. I have a job to do. Come here and win by my strengths, not by my weaknesses. I'm a very unattractive guy, and the more I get punched, the more ugly I get. So all I got is a good body, but not a good head. I want to try and keep that. A little bit of mind I've got in there. 
You're a well-rounded guy. You've done a lot of different styles of fighting. Is MMA your favorite now? Uh, MMA completes the styles that I do. I do BJJ, Gi and No Gi. I do Muay Thai with these guys at uh, Tiger. Muay Thai and MMA in Phuket. They made me what I am for this fight, guys. Thank you so, so much. I'd also like to thank Sinister Store, and I'd like to thank Hitman Fight Gear for making me look sexy as well. And uh, thank you very much, Marshall Combat, for uh, letting us people from down under come down and have a crack in a different country. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations, Ross. Enjoy your evening. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hope to come back and do it again.